what's up everyone and welcome back this video this video right here is going to be the first ever for my channel this is the first ever prototype i will be testing this was sent to me by airsoft columbia and what this product is is the future of tracer units this is a new innovative design it is based off of a regular tracer unit this is a prototype Strictly a prototype, proof of concept, just a test product. This is not available to the public. They sent this to me to review and give my honest opinion. So, what I'm going to show you right off the rip, they're making several different adapters. So, this just slides over the muzzle of your gun and clamps down with screws. And to do the charger, you have to undo these up here to get the cap off for the charger. Me, personally, I like just being able to plug it in. Like, say, down here, here's your power on switch and everything else. So when you do that, it takes away from it. Have to undo it, charge it, whatever you do. So when you hit the button, I'm going to make this go dark for a minute so you guys can see the UV light. Let me find my BBs here. We got her turned on and darkness. And then it flashes on the inside when it is powered up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me minimize my screen in the background here. We'll make that go dark. And then as you guys can see that flash to light up the BB. Oh, that one's already lit, so can't do that one. So you guys can see that little black light in there, making it light up the BB. So simple enough, take a tracer, and then that little subtle purple flash is what you need to use to light the BB. Oh, I did it again, I'm trying to find that minus button. Okay, so some other little features I do like about this is the little switch here, and that it is the first ever tracer unit for a tri shot shotgun as you can tell by that tri shot design in there so simple enough what this is this could be a future product if this is something you guys are inter interested in if i can talk so what this is this unit is somewhere in between proof of concept and testable product obviously a testable product as of now the adapters and other accessories will be made after the final design is made so this is going to be a universal for pistols, shotguns, sniper rifles, and AEGs. So this is completely new, new design completely. If you can have a tracer on a sniper and see your hit during a night game, how epic would that be? But the negatives of this, that cap, I don't like it. Have to access this to charge it, definitely a no-go. I would put it either where you can just plug into the top or into the back port. And then since this is a prototype, I will just show you guys. I've had to do some modifications to make it fit, but this is with any kind of testing. This slides over, I gotta tighten up the bolts a little bit. But yeah, there will be tape showing because this is a prototype. The adapters, accessories, and everything else will be coming at a later date. So when I shoot this off, I'm using no other than the Crytac CRB Alpha or Crytac Alpha CRB for this. And what I got, I got my run cam mounted. So I'm going to get you guys some slow mo as well as some angle. And we're going to test this to the max. We're going to do semi auto and full auto and see if this tracer unit can even keep up with the shots that I am firing and the rate of fire. So let's get into that real quick and then. As always, guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Since it is a test product that does have some 3D printed parts, which that would be a no-go as well, especially if you're a CQB and you come around a corner and smack into wood, you can shatter this whole front end, which that's not good. But the cylinder itself is made of metal, so you don't have to worry about that. But the overall design can change at any point at their discretion. And like I said, this could be an exclusive product maybe here 
soon. Who knows? We'll see how you guys react to it. I have nothing absolutely to do with this. I am not getting paid to be a positive review as I'm showing you guys the negatives. And overall, the design is kind of cool, but it is too plump. I would make it skinnier and longer for the sniper rifle people because that's kind of bulky. And then if you run a sniper rifle, this would just give you away, especially with that orange cap. Obviously, they have to. If it's sold in the U.S., it has to have that orange flash hider. But maybe um, an easy adjust top instead of these two screws would be an awesome way to advance the product. They're not paying me, as I said, so you guys will get the positives and the negatives. So let's take this to the shoot test. See y'all soon. So guys, after the test fire, it definitely keeps up with the rate of fire. And then that is with an 11-1 LiPo inside the gun. My gun did jam once, but that was my own fault because I switched it too quick. So, all in all, a great tracer to innovate and redesign a little bit. Like I said, that charger port would be awesome. And getting rid of these 3D printed stuff for now maybe eventually make some cnc products get that aluminum going but i like the design of it other than too fat just make it a little longer or a little thinner similar to the ace tech which i have in comparison to this real quick this is your standard basic lighter s tracer by Ace Tech, and then this is in comparison to the Ace Tech tracer, you see how much bigger it is. And then the charger port is under the cap where it's threaded. This one is the same, but it's not threaded. Threaded caps make it easy to charge, especially if you are indoor CQB and your battery dies on your tracer, you would want to charge it. The battery life on this is okay. Could be better. The charging time, it charges really quick. So it's probably just a, a low lipo that's in here. Like I said, prototype, advancements, everything like that. So that's just my opinions on it. But if you guys can back this tracer unit, leave a comment. Don't just leave a thumbs down if you don't like it. Tell them why you don't like it. And don't base your opinion off of just mine. It could be something cool for the future of pistol, shotgun, snipers, and... AEGs and HPA, who knows? Could be yours soon. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of this. As you guys know, I always do my honest reviews, even if people hate it. There it is. So in comparison to that, it does keep up with the rate of fire. Battery life's good. The construction of this is decent for the actual cylinder. As a prototype, it held up pretty well. But it did keep up better than my Ace Tech does with the rate of fire. So that's a plus. And that's just with a little modification of some tape on the end of the barrel like I showed you guys. So until next time, guys, I'll see you out on the field.